I'm Dr. Jason Goodchild with Premier Dental, and joining me today is Dr. Mark Donaldson. Uh, he's a pharmacologist living in Whitefish, Montana, with a special interest in dental pharmacology. And I wanted to touch base with him today um, to talk a little bit about an exciting announcement from the FDA. Uh, they announced the approval of a combination tablet to include acetaminophen and ibuprofen. So welcome, Mark. Yeah, thanks, uh, Dr. Goodchild. Always a pleasure to sit down with you. Yeah. Um, so why is this combination ibuprofen and acetamin, acetaminophen such an important um, announcement for dentistry? Yeah, well, if you think about the appropriate management of post-operative dental pain, I think uh, all of the current guidelines, as well as uh, systemic um, analyses, uh, reviews that are out there, have, have clearly shown that the benefit comes from combination therapy of a non steroidal anti inflammatory drug. So, as you mentioned, uh, ibuprofen is a good example, <clears throat> coupled with something like acetaminophen, also known as Tylenol. And in fact, those, those studies have been out for a lot of years. We know that pain secondary to dentistry is primarily due to inflammation. So, uh, we don't want to be using narcotics in these individuals. We definitely want to be doing something that addresses the underlying pathophysiology of post-operative dental pain, and, and that would be an anti-inflammatory drug. So <laughs> historically, um, in, at least in the United States, uh, these drugs have always been separate entities brought to market by separate companies. And uh, if you wanted to combine ibuprofen and acetaminophen, you had to basically have uh, you know, two tablets or capsules that you're, you're taking for each dose. Uh, this now allows for combination therapy, which reduces the overall pill burden for a patient. Um, and the intention, of course, is that um, it would increase compliance. Uh, the one thing that we always say in medicine is the, um, <clears throat> the tablet that you take is the one that works. So if we can imp improve a patient's compliance by reducing their overall pill burden and, uh, and switching them to a combination therapy, uh, their chance of uh, taking the right drug at the right dose at the right time greatly improves and sets them for up, up for success. Yeah, I know that um, uh, in some of your earlier publications, um, you've introduced a mnemonic to help with this because, you know, should you be taking uh, ibuprofen uh, every four hours, every six hours? Uh, should Tylenol go with it or should it be in a staggered fashion? Um, but I think that you introduced a mnemonic to help, correct? Yeah, so we, we always try to make it as simple as possible. Um, and that mnemonic is a simply three numbers that you have to remember. So the number two, the number four, and then the number 24. So two, four, 24. And historically what that has re always referred to is two drugs. So we just mentioned the two drugs, ibuprofen and acetaminophen. Uh, you take those two drugs every six hours. That would be four times a day. That's where the, the four comes from. And then uh, you would like the patient to take it for at least 24 hours. So two, four, 24. Uh, the one thing I didn't mention is, is the drug doses. Um, again, lots of studies out there, meta-analyses, uh, systematic reviews that have found that the uh, best dose, the, the most appropriate analgesic dose for post-operative dental pain would be acetaminophen at uh, 1,000 milligrams every, uh, every six hours, coupled with 600 milligrams of ibuprofen every six hours. So those two drugs taken every six hours for 24 hours, uh, if your patient is compliant, that, that's the key to making this work, uh, you know, 90 plus percent of these patients will be out of pain. If they still require some type of analgesia beyond 24 hours. Sure, they can continue for, uh, for another 24 hours. But if after 48 hours of a patient taking this combination therapy and not getting any significant relief, you know, they, they need to come back and see you because something else is going on. Yeah, in the, you know, what you're describing this 2-4-24 uh, for the first 24 hours, again, um, from what I understand, um, compliance is the key. So, you know, setting uh, alarms to wake up in the middle of the night and not missing doses, take them on schedule. Maybe after the first 24 hours, shifting to a PRN type dosing schedule. You know, we're still talking about two drugs, two, uh, you know, a, a tablet of ty a Tylenol or acetaminophen and then a tablet of ibuprofen. So tell me a little bit more about this new drug. Uh, I think the name is Advil Dual Action. Yeah, exactly. What's, what's interesting, again, from the U.S. perspective is it's a new drug. But in fact, since uh, 2014 in Australia, they have had a combination product available. That uh, combination product had uh, 500 milligrams of acetaminophen and 200 milligrams of, uh, of ibuprofen. 
Uh, this new product, which has been launched or at least approved by the FDA, not quite uh, available for prime time, meaning that they've gone through the approval process, but, uh, but you can't yet buy it on the shelves. It, it should be coming out, out very soon. Contains um, 250 milligrams of ibuprofen and uh, 500 milligrams of acetaminophen in, in this combination tablet. So, so the dosing is a little unique. I, I mentioned already that you know, we, we've, we've known for a long period of time that uh, 600 milligrams of ibuprofen coupled with 1,000 milligrams of acetaminophen is sort of that, that uh, target dose that you want to shoot for. And, and it's very difficult to get um, to that with, with this fixed dose combination. So I, I, I want to you know, applaud the, um, the Advil folks for, for coming out with this, this, uh, this new combination product, which I think will be of, of great benefit, especially to my colleagues um, in, in dentistry. But, but you know, I, I kind of wish that, that they had thought a little bit more about uh, the, the combination product itself and the, the individual dosing, because uh, as, as we may talk about later on, there, there could be some challenges with this, uh, with this particular dosage form. Yeah, I think what you're alluding to is the idea that if you try to just fit that uh, new uh, combined uh, medication, the ibuprofen and acetaminophen into that 2424 mnemonic, it, it doesn't quite fit. I mean, you know, you still get to a, a, a nice dose of ibuprofen, but it isn't quite that, that sweet spot that you were referring to before. Yeah, that, ab absolutely. And in fact, if you do want to get close to the target dose, the target daily dose of ibuprofen uh, with this new fixed dose um, Advil Duo, uh, you actually could end up getting the patient uh, too much acetaminophen. And so that, that's one of the challenges with it. I, I really think that if they had rather than 250 milligrams, if they had had, let's say 400 milligrams of, of ibuprofen or even 600 milligrams of ibuprofen, you know, that, that may have, have been a, a better solution. But, um, but since it's a combination product of 250 milligrams of ibuprofen coupled with 500 milligrams of acetaminophen, in order to get to that, that sweet spot, that uh, good analgesic dose of, of ibuprofen, you could exceed 4,000 milligrams of acetaminophen a day, which as of today, you, you know, it is the maximum recommended dose. What, what's going to be even um, more challenging is when the FDA Analgesic Advisory Committee adjusts those guidelines and, uh, and more than likely they are going to adjust them down such that the um, recommended maximum uh, dose of acetaminophen from all sources will probably be closer to 3,000 milligrams. So, so what does that mean? Well, it means that you cannot take more than six tablets of Advil uh, dual action uh, in, in a 24 hour period. And <clears throat> that, that gets you to the maximum acetaminophen. That means that the maximum amount of ibuprofen that you're gonna get from that is gonna be you know, six times the, um, the 250. In other words, only 1500 milligrams of, of ibuprofen. So you may end up still having to augment this uh, with, with some additional ibuprofen if you wanna to get to that you know, two, four, 24 target that we talked about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wouldn't it be so nice if you, like you mentioned that the, the tablet contained 400 or 600 uh, in, a, in a perfect world, perhaps 600 of ibuprofen and 500 of Tylenol, and then it would just be one tablet every six hours uh, and you would be well below the maximum uh, for the yeah. time. As we know, that's a big deal. Uh, absolutely. So, you know, it, it, it's good news. As I said, it's, it's not really new news across the world because um, this, this combination product has been available, available in Australia for a lot of years. Um, but I do think that they, you know, kind of missed the boat on, on their dosage selection for this combination product. So the intent is there, you know, maybe they'll come out with a, a 2.0. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks, Mark. Absolutely. Great to see you. Thanks.